Oh my goodness, I've just been to my first gym class in a long time that was actually like intense. Um, it was like functional fitness or something. That was hard. That was so hard. But I feel really good for going because I've been putting off going to the gym for ages. Like I keep coming up with excuses and things. So I am actually really, really glad that I've done it. I think like it makes me feel so good because I always feel guilty about having too much me time. But you really need it don't you and Chris loves having a theory it's like I, I don't know why I'm so funny about it I just feel guilty leaving her with somebody else and I mean it's a dad anyway I'm trying this whole new having more confidence in myself thing hi and welcome to the vlog by the way thank you so so much for, for coming to watch another one um I probably should intro this better but anyway hello welcome it's a new week I've just been to the gym so I am feeling sort of a slight pep in my step um now i hope that you're all really well i hope that you're also all feeling a little bit better i feel like uh the past couple of months i feel like everyone's been feeling a bit groggy but i think maybe we're all starting to feel a bit better i cannot say the cliche thing of which i probably already said in the last vlog of like my favorite time of year because everyone is saying it even though it may be true but i just want to say i hope that everyone is feeling good and feeling a bit better ready to sort of like welcome winter a little bit if you know what i mean a bit more into their swing of things for the the season to come um so yeah get yourself cups of tea maybe a glass of wine whatever no judgment here i would certainly love to join you and welcome to the vlog hello everybody sorry if i sound a bit Horse, it's because I am. Um, <coughs> like, you know, really making the point there. I don't know really what's happened. I think I've got some sort of throat thing, throat infection thing. But anyway, hello. I just thought I would check in um, and sort of give you a bit of an update on the week and what been, what's been going on. We went to the Holly's Farm Shop today, so I'm going to insert a little bit here of the Christmas shop. I think I've actually already been around that a cut, like in previous vlogs and shown you, but it's just so nice. It feels like, why not show you twice? Um, so that was really, really nice. We went today, Chris had the day off, so we just went as a little family day, midweek family trip, which was lovely. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to another wedding dress shop. I'm actually going to this like wedding dress outlet shop. Um, I'm not sure what it's like, but I'm really looking forward to it. Um, uh, I don't know if anybody has seen one of my previous vlogs. I've been to two wedding dress shops so far. The first one I really enjoyed. It was really lovely. It was a bit of more of a hands-off experience. And she had like amazing... Sorry, can we just talk about my nails? Is that... I had them done on Monday. Monday. Okay. I had them done on Monday by this girl who is so good. I mean, just she is really, really good and um she charges really reasonable prices and she's normally really good and really reliable and this one is just literally lifted off and this is honestly the reason why i don't always get my nails done because when something like this goes wrong and it's shellac and you can't fix it yourself it just makes me feel gross and i in a way i would rather just clean the boring nothing on my nails nails than like they oh anyway so just side note um mm, yeah so the first the first shop was lovely the second one was very intense and it's not something that i really enjoyed so this one is an outlet and i and i think that they are a bit more hands-off as well and i'm also kind of feeling like less overwhelmed because i feel like the price shouldn't be as much like shouldn't really be a factor because they're like 80 percent off so 80% off what they usually retail at so i just feel like it's going to be a bit more comfortable because i'm not going to be like I tried not to worry about the prices when I was in the other places because I just thought, you know, I've I've looked at the 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 sort of budgets of each shop and they all fell within my budget. But the thing is, it's like you can say to them, my budget is two k, and they'll bring you ones for two and a half. And it's obviously it's like, well, it's only an extra couple of hundred. Uh, you know, I'll try it on, la da da. But you know, in reality, like I don't really know what it's like, what the prices are for, um the adjustments what are they even called are oh, the i hate it when this happens in vlogs and you're shouting at them the screen saying the word anyway whatever it is the alterations sorry i don't know how much they cost but i can imagine once you add in those it's basically three and then you've gone an extra thousand pounds over your budget so it's a bit of a worry because it's like i obviously want to feel amazing on the day and obviously like money shouldn't always be the biggest factor but at the same time 
yes it is because there's only so much in the bank so i'm looking forward to going somewhere where i'm hoping is almost like must be you know kind of like what it's like if you're rich and you can just go in and just not care about it so yeah i'm really looking forward to that um and chris is gonna have a video i'm just gonna go with my mum so that should be quite nice as well but i also just want to talk for a minute about mum brain like what what is that i in the past 24 hours of honestly we've lost socks we've lost booties we've lost a changing mat okay and i i am a control freak i cannot cope i'm not somebody that loses stuff because i am a freak i'm like a neat freak organization freak any kind of freak you can think about that's me and i'm not saying that i'm like very good at all those things but i try very hard to do well at them but mum brain is just another thing altogether pregnancy brain i didn't get that so i didn't know what anybody was on about it mine was seemingly fine as far as i'm aware anyway but it's just so, your brain is so full all the time like i'm trying to make lists all the time and then i lose the bloody lists then i think i'll make them on my phone and then i can't face get my phone out when i'm in the shops or i can't hold it because i'm holding a pram and everything else and you know you just it's just not possible and also i get overwhelmed when i'm in there and i don't want to get a list out so that's the other thing anyway i just i don't know when that's going to stop and this and sorry i couldn't even speak this is this is where i and then i think every day i think i watch certain vlogs of certain people i can't remember the name of one of them i want to say her name's megan probably isn't i'll find out and she is so like some people are so they have this air of like complete calm about them like this stillness i remember reading an article once about kim kardashian and somebody said that she had this like certain stillness about her kind of reminds me of my sister and one of my sisters and certain people they are just so good at like taking their time breathing more slowly i i heard on a podcast recently that like certain studies certain some people was like a a line of thought that um anxiety all anxiety is due to the fact that we have like uh evolved to breathe incorrectly um and so because of it i would i don't know but i would imagine it's that we breathe too quickly and that might be because i i personally do suffer with panic attacks and i find that when i am having one i feel like i can't breathe i mean i feel like it's breathing going really really quickly now i don't know if this is that I'm just paraphrasing there, so I don't know if that's a fact. But anyway, and um, so yeah, I feel like some people are really good at like taking a deep breath, taking in the room, you know, and like, I don't, yeah, just being present, slow, taking their time. I feel like I'm like a, a whirling dervish. I feel like I just like, like explode into a room and I really don't want to do that and I explode in and explode out because I'm like rush 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 I've got to do this 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 and this but it's like because also you are trying to be a mum that has all of her clothes washed all of her bottles washed now we are weaning so blah 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 you know what I mean as well as being me and doing all the things that I want to do and achieve and also I'm competitive and that is exhausting I didn't think I was. I don't know why I didn't think I was, but I am. So your brain is always on the go, like you're always trying to achieve. And I think that's exhausting. I'm not saying that the people that are still and calm aren't competitive or organized or any of those things. I feel like they're just better at sort of maybe controlling it. I don't know. Anyway, long intro. And in a where once again, I'm in a blue sweatshirt. I feel like all my, all of like the sort of images for my vlogs that I'm in blue or green sweatshirts I really need to change that up but you know that can be sort of next week's challenge and I'm always in this lounge but I am going to take you out more with me in the rest of this vlog so hey hey good evening Ophelia is in bed Chris is at jiu-jitsu life is good <laughs>
coming to you from the back of the car where I'm currently, well, just feeding Ophelia after what um, could only be described as quite an interesting trip in to Chester to meet my family. It was so lovely to see them, but on the way here, Ophelia woke up at half five rather than seven, usual wake up time, which would make you think that we were really on time, but she went back to sleep then after we'd fed her until eight rather than her usual time of seven. So already started late, so that was a bit frantic, no problem, left sort of miracle. What? What am I saying? Anyway, we left on time, which was a miracle, hit a huge amount of traffic, which was a bit of an issue. So that was already putting us back a good 10 minutes. And then we got here and she had had, I mean, to say she'd had a poo explosion, just couldn't cover it. It was all up her back. It was all on her legs, on her tights, on her clothes, on every bit of clothing she was wearing today. Obviously it's white as well. And did I bring spare clothing? Do I always bring spare clothing? Yes. Had I used up my last spare clothing and forgot to replace it? Also, yes. So the first time she was meeting her great granddad, covered in poo, there was poo under my fingernail. Under my fingernail. And we had to just rush and get there. And you then you think, wow, this is, this is life. Anyway, it's been really, really nice. Managed to change her again whilst we were there. Thankfully, no second poo explosion. And we had the loveliest time in Chester. I'm going to put a little clip of us walking around now, just a short one. Um, but it's really, really nice here. And it's, it feels great to be like uh, in my sort of home area with family. It was just lovely. So, yes, that was just a quick check in. Uh, yeah. done. So I have just decorated the tree and I think it looks really good. Ophelia is really really happy with it. I, I'm quite pleased with it. I think there's still some tweaks left to be done but I just love <laughs> you know, the decorations that I've collected over the years from other places. I always buy one when we go on holiday to try and like remember the trip by and actually it makes me so happy when I get them out as a reminder like I've got one from Santorini. I'll show you some. Like we've got this one here from Santorini, which is so cute. Oh, like when we went to Notre Dame and Berlin, and yeah, there's there's a few others, and it's just it's just so so nice. That is going to go ahead and finish my vlog for this week. I had already recorded this. But I recorded it over it, so that's good. I actually look like I've got no hair right now. Anyway, I'm just about to start the next week's one. It's actually Monday morning. But anyway, thank you so, so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.